Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to my channel. I don't know what is going on with my jumper this morning. It keeps like folding up weirdly. Um, but I am looking rather glam this morning. I feel like we always know something's happening when I'm looking glam. I'm gonna be heading into London today, which I am really, really looking forward to. We're going slick back bun today, because I'm not gonna lie to you, the weather. You're lucky I don't have any lights on at the moment, actually. I feel like the camera, that's one thing I do love and hate about this camera, is that it auto-adjusts with regards to the brightness. So it's actually really dark in here, but my camera always kind of, like, picks up the light a lot better than, like, in real life. Um, so it looks brighter than it actually is in real life because, oh my gosh, the weather today, it is tipping it with rain, which is such a shame because it doesn't feel festive when it's raining. I don't know what it is, but I just feel like we need like sunshine, we need cool, crisp air, we need frost on the ground. That's when I know we're ready for like a festive day in London. But nonetheless, we're heading into London today because I do actually have a really, really fun day planned. I am gonna be heading to a Cezanne pop-up in London, which is really exciting, which by the time this video goes live, um, I don't think it will be there anymore. But what I will do is chat to the team, see if they have any new pop-ups coming along at the moment. Um, but I'm gonna be heading to Marla which I have not been to Marlebin for so so long so the pop-up is on Marlebin High Street and where I used to live like just outside of West London Marlebin was like quite an easy access for me to get in um so I used to come into Marlebin quite a lot have a little like walk and explore it's such a beautiful high street so I'm really really excited to go back there and I'm hoping all the Christmas decorations should be up which is very very exciting so I'm going to be heading to Marlebin and then I'm going to be heading to an event with Laura Ashley, which I am so excited about because you know what a fan I am of Laura Ashley. Their homeware is just beautiful. And I'm assuming I'm going to be allowed to say this because I'm assuming it's not under embargo. It's not a secret or anything. But this event is actually to celebrate the re-release of their fashion line, which excites me so, so much because I feel like Laura Ashley is just such like beautiful, feminine, like real, what's the word? Like English heritage woman kind of a vibe. I don't actually know if Laura Ashley is an English brand. I should probably look into that, um, but it really does encompass that like English country cottage kind of vibe, which I absolutely love. So I'm so, so excited to head there as well. And if we have time in between, might just do a little bit of Christmas shopping. So I feel like it's finally time to start properly Christmas shopping. Now is the time when all of the shops have like all of the Christmas bits out. You can get really, really excited. They have so many gorgeous like displays. It's feeling very festive. And as much as I'd loved like obviously doing some Christmas shopping during like the Black Friday sales and like doing things online, I feel like there is just nothing that beats in-person Christmas shopping. Having a wander around either like Selfridges or Harrods or Liberty in London, having a walk along Oxford Street and just soaking up all of the festivities. So if we've got time, might also be doing a little bit of Christmas shopping. So got myself ready, got my makeup on. Perfume of the day, I think I'm gonna wear Pomegranate Noir because I've not actually worn this for a while from Jo Malone and this is one that I always get so many compliments on and it really does last. That is one thing I do find with Ginger Biscuit, which I obviously have been wearing non-stop recently, you guys know. Um, Ginger Biscuit's a little bit more subtle, so I do find that by the end of the day, the scent has kind of gone, whereas Pomegranate Noir is one that really lasts a lot better on your skin. So quick spritz of perfume. And then let me show you my outfit of the day because I'm kind of loving it today. So we are going for a very green and black outfit today, which I'm kind of loving. I've really like color schemed my outfit, which now that I think about it, it's actually a little bit festive, which I hadn't even thought about before, but foresty green, giving me the Christmas tree vibes, but I am loving it. So in terms of my coat, I'm oh, so sorry, it's so dark in here, but this is the best I can do. Maybe I should put a light on. Is that a bit better or is that just too yellow? I'm not entirely sure, um, but I feel like this really goes to show just how kind of like blue and grey the light is today. Um, but I've just got a gorgeous little roll neck on just to keep me really nice and snugly warm. I do have thermals on underneath as well. Trench coat is from Cezanne, which I am really representing Cezanne today, I'm not going to lie to you, but I just absolutely adore their pieces. And this trench coat is so perfect for a day like today when it's going to be tipping it with rain and it's not warm either because it's got like quite a thick lining to it. So I really, really love this trench coat and it goes so beautiful beautifully with like skirts and dresses and anything like that. Um, or jewelry wise, I've got my favorite little Kate Young earrings in which I love doing when I'm doing like a slick back bun. Um, and can we just appreciate how much better the hair is looking now? I'm so, so happy with it. Um, so yes, I've got the gorgeous trench coat on. I then also have a bag from Cezanne, which this one I unboxed in my Black Friday haul with you guys. And it's such a gorgeous, like huge bucket bag. I absolutely love it. I'm kind of obsessed with like bucket bags at the moment. Um, and you can either wear it like over your shoulder or the way that the handles work 
I can't like do it right now, but if you kind of pull them, you can wear it a bit more of like a on the arm kind of a bag. Um, so I absolutely love that. I've then gone for this gorgeous khaki green skirt, which I feel like on camera, the colors are just coming up so, so weird, but it's like a beautiful kind of khaki forest green. Um, and then I've got my duo boots on and I am definitely going for flat boots today because I know that a day in London is going to mean a day of a lot of walking. And I really love slip skirts with knee high boots. I feel like that kind of like elongation on your leg it's just the most flattering thing in the world so loving the very green and black outfit today and very color coordinated and really representing Suzanne so let's get going into London I'm so so excited for today I do hope you can hear me over the sound of the wind, the rain, and the London traffic. But as you can see behind me, Marlborough High Street is looking very, very festive. Oh my goodness me. This just gives me all the nostalgia. It's why London is just my favorite place to be around Christmas time. It's just so magical. Everywhere decorates so beautifully and it just makes me so, so happy so you should probably put my umbrella back up because i'm getting absolutely soaked right now but i want to show you the christmas decorations behind me and as you can see behind me this way it is looking so festive as well it's a shame they've not got their lights on i always wish that the um high streets would leave their lights on during the day as well especially on like gray dreary days like today i feel like it would show up so so well um but oh my goodness that wind right i'm gonna head to suzanne i'm so excited to see the new just the walk down Marlborough High Street is making me feel so so festive look at Bailey and Sage they have literally decorated the entire storefront I feel like this is like the Dalesford of London it's such a cute little shop they've got like flower markets outside so beautiful inside I might have to pop in after the appointment with Suzanne because it's looking so festive oh I love it I've just made it into the store now and oh my goodness me the new Suzanne store is stunning and some really exciting information, really exciting intel. I thought this was a pop-up. This is a permanent store. So you guys will be able to come down and shop the gorgeous Suzanne pieces. And if you haven't shopped Suzanne before, I feel like it's really worth coming in because there are certain things like this trench coat that I usually like to size up in a little bit or some certain pieces that's like, they come up oversized, you want to size down to make it more fitted. And one thing I did not realize is that Suzanne has the most stunning jewelry, which I feel like on their website, they don't shout about enough. They've also got like candles and homeware, which I do absolutely love. So it's so lovely to come in and see all of the pieces. So let's have a little bit of explore because oh my word, the store is stunning. I'm obsessed with this green sofa. Oh my word, all of the decor in here is just such a vibe. It is so Suzanne. I am absolutely obsessed with it all. Look at this, the flowers. Oh my God. Is this a perfume? Oh wow, this is gorgeous. This is honestly the softest knit I think I've ever laid my eyes on. I'm obsessed with the detailing that Suzanne do. My stripe knit has got a really similar little button detailing here, but look at the gorgeous little shirts. Oh my God, a knitted mini skirt. I feel like these are so in at the moment when you do like a set with like a little matchy matchy thing. Oh my God, the coats. Look at this little jacket. <gasps> Again, so soft. Honestly, the Suzanne pieces are just the softest, coziest things in the world. One thing that I love that Suzanne does is they'll like re-release things that have been really, really popular. Um, so I have this little knit in like a blue floral print and they've just released it in this beautiful like pinky orangey knit piece. Oh my God, I'm so obsessed with the pattern on this and it's such a cozy warm. It's a little bit itchy is the only thing I will say, but I always just like add a thermal on underneath and it keeps me so nice and snug and warm. This is so perfect if you're going to things like Christmas markets, anywhere where you know you need to be wrapped up. It is so beautiful and I just love the fact that they do this every single year. Yeah. Vintage Gucci, I love the um, Suzanne logo yeah. there, that's beautiful. Oh, you have enough space to put Yeah, beautiful. I know.
If you guys will remember the gorgeous pair of heels that I picked up last year, my Manolo Blahniks that I got for my like Christmas party wear heels. They are the most beautiful green velvet color and I have been on the hunt for the perfect bag to match those heels for such a long time and I just spotted this and look how beautiful this is. I don't even know if the color's coming out that well on camera but it's the most stunning forest green velvet bucket bag and I'm so obsessed with bucket bags at the moment. Obviously the bag I'm wearing today, my new Jimmy Choo bonbon bon bag. I feel like they're just so cute. They're very in at the moment and this bag is just going to pair so beautifully with my Manolos. I mean they do have little matchy heels as well which I just think is so so cute but this baby is definitely coming home with me. I've never seen anything this colour. Oh my goodness. Oh my gosh. I don't think I've ever actually shot Cezanne jewellery. This lighting is any better than what the lighting was this morning. Um, although, yes, I am doing the cardinal sin. My skirt's a little bit longer than my coat. Don't hate me. But I just wanted to do the matchy matchy green skirt with a green coat. But I've already had so many compliments on this trench coat. Everyone's like, I recognize that coat. I recognize that bag. I absolutely love it. But um, yeah, such a cute little store. And of course, you know, I'm not the biggest denim girl. But if I was, Suzanne Denim would be all I would shop. They just have such an amazing collection of jeans. I always hear everyone say that they just do the best, like highest quality denim. They have loads of different styles and colors. So definitely a good one to check out. So I am not gonna lie to you, I did not realize that Suzanne actually also have a men's section. So I've just come up to the men's wear section to have a little look for a couple of things for Alex as well. It's called Old Talker. And oh my God, I'm obsessed with this cape on it. I think we need to see him in this. It's so gorgeous. just left Suzanne now with an armful of goodies. Oh my goodness me, I cannot wait to show you what I have picked up because, oh my goodness, the store is just beautiful. It's so aesthetic. They're really good at making sure that um, not too many people are in the store. So at peak times, you will probably have to queue outside. So be prepared if it's like a day like today, although they do have like canapes and stuff that will keep you warm. Canapes? Is that the right word? I think it's canapes. But I don't mean like the food canopy, like a canopy. No, a canopy is the thing that keeps you dry. They do have canopies up and around the store, um, so you don't have to stand out in the rain. Um, but it just means that the, actually inside, it's like not chaotic. And it's like so, such nicer shopping experience. Um, and oh my God, the store is just absolutely gorgeous. They've displayed everything so, so well. So I apologize in advance to your bank accounts if you are coming down to the store because it's beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. And you're gonna do what I've done and literally come away with an absolute armful of goodies for yourself or for loved ones for Christmas. The October range, oh my God, the menswear is beautiful. I'm gonna do an online order with Alex just so that I can go through things with him because they have so many gorgeous menswear pieces like knits and coats and jumpers. They are absolutely stunning. And actually I love shopping for Alex almost more than I love shopping for myself. I think it's so much fun to do like menswear shopping. They have so many gorgeous pieces. It's always really fun. Um, and it's so lovely as well. Whenever I see PRs since the engagement, they're always like, we can get things for your fiance. I'm like, oh, my fiance, showing them the ring. It was so, so much fun. Suzanne girls are the loveliest. So I've had the best morning. I've literally spent a good two, three hours in the store, just looking around, browsing, exploring, seeing new in, seeing some things that I already knew I loved. And of course, 
coming away with some real goodies. So I have a little bit of time to kill in between now and my next meeting. So I think I might do a bit of shopping actually along Marlborough High Street. I feel like Marlborough High Street is actually so underrated in terms of like, especially Christmas shopping. So let's go and do a little bit of an explore. We can head back down to Bailey and say, see what's inside there because it is looking really, really festive. Oh my goodness me. Well, if you don't actually want to do the effort of making a gingerbread house like I did at Joe Malone the other week, they actually have pre-made gingerbread houses. How fun is this? I would so buy one of these and just pretend that I made it. <laughs> okay, but if you do actually <laughs> want to do the work, they do have a DIY gingerbread house kit. Same house, but you can actually make it yourself. I love that. I feel like it's such a cute little thing to do with like nieces or nephews or any little ones in your family. I'm also obsessed with these little baubles to go on the tree. I love it when it's like a present you can put on the tree, but there's also something inside as well. So many cute Christmas gifts in here. And of course, you've also just got the um, like kind of farmhouse style food shop as well. Look how fun this is. It's like half like jumper, like knit material, and then this is so cozy. It's like woolen kind of breast. Oh my word. I didn't want to look at the price tag, but <laughs> this is so so stunning. Oh, when well, it's a wrap as well, it actually like comes in. You can cinch it around the waist. You know, I love a wrap coat. I've not seen anything like this. over to the Laura Ashley press room, which I'm not gonna lie, it's probably gonna be quite a jarring experience because I feel like today has been all about like knitwear, Christmas gifting, festivities, and the Laura Ashley press room is all about spring summer. This is why I feel like I, I never do like uh, fashion weeks or like I never do like high fashion because I feel like my brain just doesn't work that way. Like I'm very much ready for like the next season, um, but I am really excited to see the Laura Ashley press room, see the new homeware, the new fashion bits. I feel like it's just gonna be so, so inspiring. So I'm gonna head over there.
sort of screen printing exercise going on here. Um, so here's my little tote bag. Absolutely obsessed with this, and this is the slogan I'm going for: Hardcore Cottage Core, which I feel like just summarises me. I'm just gonna print the bag. Oh my god, I love this. That is what you do. <laughs> nostalgia that has just given me seeing all the homeware the gorgeous new dresses they've actually like kind of released things that have been inspired by like the old archives which was so lovely and there was even like a bit of a kind of screen playing with so much from like the old archives of 70 years before Ashley and it's one of the few brands <laughs> I feel like that are like epitomise being a lifestyle brand like, if you want a full kitchen fitted you can go to Laura Ashley if you want a new dress for summer you can go to Laura Ashley like it's such a beautiful brand so it's so so lovely to have a little look around see all of the new collection clothing homeware it just makes me so so happy um, and of course I've got another gift bag so I'll make sure to unbox the bits when I get home with you guys but as you can see it is tipping it with rain so I'm going to need to make a sprint for another taxi <laughs> well I think it's safe to say that the only thing that I have any resemblance to right now is that of the drowned rut. Honestly, it was so wet in London. I got absolutely soaked. So it's looked like fun. Snail up and looking at very slick. I'm not gonna lie guys, I just had a place to get my makeup on tonight. There's something about it. the animal cleansing arm. After a day in London, it's just so satisfying. I feel like it gets so deep into my skin about all of those toxins and just all of like oh, the nastiness that you get on your skin from London. So as you can hear, I've just started running a shower. I'm gonna jump in, give my hair a good wash, give my face a good cleanse, my body a good scrub, and we'll catch up tomorrow. I'll unbox everything that I picked up today and catch you guys tomorrow because this is just, this is not a vibe, not a vibe. <laughs> Good morning, everyone. Oh my goodness me. Does my hair feel so fresh, so nice. After getting completely caught out in the rain last night, I gave it a really good wash and I'm not gonna lie, it felt so weird in the shower. You know when you have your hair chopped off and you're washing it and you're like, where is the rest of it? Like, where is the rest of it gone? I'm so not used to this length again, but I will get used to it eventually and I'm loving how it is looking. If you stumbled upon my video yesterday and maybe you don't know me and you don't know that I have short hair, I always find it so, so funny when people first meet me and I have my hair like in a slicked back bun or something like that and then I take it down and they're like, oh my gosh, you have short hair? Like, I don't know why people often just assume I'm like a long haired girl, um, but lovely freshly washed hair this morning and I've also just made myself a very well-deserved coffee because London yesterday was so much fun. But my goodness me, do I find London days draining? these days i feel like it's particularly just the fact that it's dark by the time that you get home it's like obviously much longer nights like much shorter days and probably also didn't help the fact that it was raining so i was having to literally sprint like jump in taxis jump to the next location um but had such a fun fun day and i promised you i would do a little bit of an unboxing with what Suzanne very kindly sent me away with and i wanted to start with the first thing so i know i mentioned yesterday Suzanne do jewellery 
and I did not know that. Even the PR was chatting away saying to me, I'm not gonna lie, like I feel like they get hidden, like the jewelry gets hidden on the website. It's not something that they like shout about it as much. Um, but their jewelry was beautiful. And I feel like I'm having a lot more fun with jewelry at the moment and especially coming up to the festive season, I feel like this is the best time to start adding in some gorgeous new jewelry pieces and things that are just like really fun, really whimsical. And I saw these earrings and I was like, I need those in my life. And what I really liked about them actually is that they weren't heavy. So you would have seen me kind of partially trying them on in store yesterday. But oh my God, these are just amazing. This gorgeous pair of like gold hooped flower earrings. They've got this like plastic flower to them. And I just thought they were so fun. So I actually don't have any earrings on today because I wanted to try them on properly because obviously you can't really try earrings on properly in store and see what they look like. But as I was holding them up, I was like, you know what? These are so fun. And I feel like they're the kind of earrings. It's gonna be really difficult to actually get them in my ear. They're the kind of earrings that I feel like would work with hair up, with hair down, with hair slicked back, with hair curled. Like I feel like they're the kind that just elevate an outfit so, so much. Oh my God. <gasps> These are so fun. Oh, and I actually kind of love them with the bob. I feel like they look really, really cute because they just kind of give that little, ooh, give that little something extra with my hair. And as I said, I tried them with my hair up and I do feel like, especially if you're going for like a slick back bun and you just really want to add like a wow factor to your look. These earrings are that wow factor. And I can't believe how light these are, but they don't feel heavy on my earlobes at all. <gasps> I love them. I have never worn earrings like this before. And I mean, they hit about a little bit, but they're not like heavy. They're not weighing down my ears. They're not weighing down my face. And I feel like they just add such a like fun little something extra to the look. Oh my gosh, these are gorgeous. And they had so many other gorgeous pairs of earrings. They had some, some like necklaces, lots of pearl pieces, and a lot of like fun jewelry, which also comes in at different colors. I know I say this a lot, but it's my favorite thing that Suzanne do. They are the epitome of, if I like it, I'll just get it in another color. In fact, a lot of you guys have sh shopped this jumper in different colors through Suzanne as well, which I really love because it's got the little like button detail as I was showing you on some of the new enclodes yesterday. I know how much I love a little Breton stripe and a little horizontal stripe knit which by the way horizontal horizon still remember that so thank you so much guys for sharing your wisdom with me with that um but oh my god even like because i don't normally like tucking my hair back like this but with these earrings i feel like it works i feel like it's just so fun oh my god i'm just obsessed i'm absolutely obsessed i think they look so so cute. Also, I kind of love the packaging that they come in. Like, how adorable is this little this little pouch? I feel like this would make such a great stocking filler, and they're not too expensive either. In terms of like the grand scheme of jewelry, it is obviously like costume jewelry. Um, but it's the kind of thing that I feel like is just so perfect for the festive season when you want to elevate an outfit. You really want to dress up a little bit more. Yet they're not going to kill your ears. They're not going to weigh them down. They are just gorgeous, so I'll leave them linked down below. Along to Suzanne's jewellery, I would definitely recommend having a little peruse and a little browse on their website because they have so many gorgeous jewellery pieces that, as I said, they don't shout about, they kind of hide on their website, and I feel like it would make great gifts, it would be great to treat yourself to, and just elevate any outfit. So, let's unbox what I took away with me yesterday. I still can't stop staring at these earrings. They are just so fun. I think I might actually start with Laura Ashley because the Laura Ashley press showroom was so fun they actually did have a few like christmasy bits as well but a lot of it was going to be released summer next year or kind of some of it's coming out in january there's like a lot to look forward to and a lot to get excited about and they literally had a room that they called like the memory room which was all about like brands that they've worked with collaborations that they've done and sometimes i can't believe how many collabs laura actually has done and as i said yesterday i feel like they're one of the few brands that epitomizes the lifestyle brand like a lot of brands call themselves lifestyle but they're mainly fashion maybe they do like some shoes they're mainly fashion or sometimes they do a bit of homeware. Like Laura Ashley really epitomizes like they can do the best homeware, they can do collaborations on like appliances, they do fashion bits, they do bedding, they do wallpaper, they even have a brand that they work with where they do murals for your wall. It is just absolutely insane. So I wanted to show you what they sent us away with because this is beautiful. I'm celebrating 70 years of Laura Ashley. Now first off, you would have seen me making this myself 
and I'm not gonna lie, it was actually a cool workout. The lady was so sweet, she was like, you're really gonna have to press down. And I was like, oh my God, you really do? Um, so there was like different slogans you could choose from, different messages, and I went for hardcore cottage core, which I just thought was so, so cool, and I love this tote bag this is so so beautiful it's just like a gorgeous floral color and i always love tote bags because i'm gonna sound such a granny here but i always have to keep them in my car because it means if you're doing like a quick last minute shop or like you're popping to the shops you're always gonna have something in your car that you can just quickly grab and use as a reusable bag so you don't have to rely on plastic bags um and i'm not entirely sure what else is in here actually so first of all oh that's really cute we've got like a little fabric sample ashley wilde this is a soft furnishings fabric sample and I do absolutely adore their fabrics. They have so many gorgeous like sofas and chairs that I've been looking at that I'm like, oh, where can I add that into the house? Like how can I incorporate that into our home? So I love that. That is absolutely gorgeous. Oh my goodness, they also gave us a little tea towel. I was literally complimenting the girls on this print because they were wearing aprons with it and it looked so, so cute. That is gonna look so beautiful in our kitchen. Oh my goodness me. I love the pink floral pattern on that. That is absolutely stunning. And then it also does say 70 years of Laura Ashley, which is just adorable. Like honestly, I can't believe it's been around 70 years. I literally wrote them a note actually. Here's a little pic of me in the memory room. Um, so I wrote them a little note to say that I do remember getting my first Laura Ashley bedding when I was maybe eight. And I was so proud of it. I was literally so proud. It was just such a moment for me. So how cute is that little Polaroid? And they literally took this on like a classic old retro Polaroid. It was absolutely insane. We also have in here a little tassel. Very, very cute. That would be gorgeous for like gifting. If you're like doing any Christmas gifting. I love going ham on the Christmas gifting. And they do actually have like a range of um, curtain ties and like hold bags, which is really lovely. We also have in here, oh, paint colours. Ooh. I did not know that all Laura Ashley do paint colours. Oh my god, they literally do everything. That is absolutely nuts. I really love that pale chalk pink. That is beautiful. I really, really love that. Um, we then have some little stickers with some of the quotes on them. So here are a few of the other quotes. It's gentle is a strength, unashamedly romantic. There was another one where it's like something about being pretty. It was a really cute quote. Um, and of course, hardcore cottage core, which I love. What else do we have in here? Oh. My Polaroid. Did I not just put that down? <laughs> Finally, we have a hand and nail cream. Oh my goodness. This is so, so exciting. So I think this is new from Laura Ashley that they are doing this year. But look how beautiful that is. What an amazing Christmas gift would that be? Again, a great stocking filler for someone. I always love stocking fillers. I feel like they almost excite me more than like proper presents. I love doing stockings for everyone. Um, but that would make such a lovely stocking filler. I love a hand cream. I feel like there's nothing better than getting a hand cream for Christmas. And the packaging is just beautiful. So some gorgeous, gorgeous gifts from Laura Ashley. And as I said, the showroom was stunning. It made me feel so nostalgic and so excited for what's to come. And of course the Cezanne pieces. I couldn't not show you what I picked up at the new Cezanne store. And as I said, it was such a gorgeous store, like absolutely beautiful. I actually saw a couple of ladies walk past and go, oh my God, it's open. I think it's been in the works for quite a long time now. And all of the ladies of Marlebone were just absolutely loving it. I feel like they've just got such a prime spot on Marlebone High Street. Marlebone High Street, as I said, is so underrated. It looked so festive. It really doesn't feel like London. Like it kind of feels like a little suburb outside of London, yet it's still so central. There are so many gorgeous shops and it's a great place to look for Christmas presents. So the first one, actually, I feel like this would make a great Christmas present is this gorgeous matching scarf and hat set. Now, I'm not gonna lie to you. I feel like I'm very particular when it comes to beanies, but when I saw these beanies, oh my gosh, these were just the cutest i am absolutely in love with them and they are so soft I've definitely just ruined my hair there um but they are so so soft so cozy they are made out of i think it's 100 percent wool alpaca well that explains why it's not itchy i was literally saying to the girls i was like this is the softest thing i've ever ever felt and i love the fact that these are like unisex as well again it would make a great christmas present i feel like there's nothing more satisfying than a gorgeous matchy matchy set so i've got the gray one here and i also came away with the stunning navy blue so one of them's gonna be mine and one of them's gonna be alex's i haven't quite decided which one or i'm just gonna keep them both for myself <laughs> Honestly, I'm horrendous, but I just think they're so cute and I do love like a little navy blue set. I think it's so, so lovely. Navy blue is like a big in color this year and I love it, especially paired with like neutrals and like grays and whites. I feel like it just looks so, so gorgeous. And I mean, look at the size 
of this scarf like you can literally wrap yourself up in this <gasps> so cozy warm i can wrap i can wrap i can keep going oh my god i absolutely love this this is gonna be great for all of the festive activities all of the christmas markets the light trails all of that jazz let's just fix the hair before i do anything else because my goodness i'm absolutely ruining it but these are gorgeous absolutely gorgeous so i will leave these linked down below and as i said i think they would make great christmas presents especially if it's something more like a secret santa where it's not as like personal like especially if you're going to do that white elephant game with secret santa where you have to like steal the presents i feel like a Cezanne matching knit set i would 100 steal that 100 so absolutely gorgeous i'm so obsessed with these now in terms of clothing pieces can you tell i love a breton stripe as soon as i saw this dress i was like I'm taking that home i'm adding that into my basket because oh my goodness me this is beautiful now you know how much i adore a knitted dress a knitted jumper dress is just my jam and i recently picked up a new one from suzanne the gorgeous white one i can never remember the names of all of the pieces i feel like there are so many different names and whenever people remember them i'm like so impressed with them this is the katrina i can't remember the name of the white one that i have but i've been wearing it so much and i've been absolutely loving it and when i saw this i was like oh my word i need that in my life it is so gorgeous it's actually a bit thinner than the other one that i have and almost like a bit of a thicker rib if you can see that which i feel like it's going to make it so so flattering and there is just nothing more classic than a breton stripe love the fact that this has kind of a similar turtleneck to what i'm wearing now um this is an that i've got on it's got a really gorgeous like mock turtleneck where it comes up keeps you nice and snugly warm but it's not suffocating it's not claustrophobic like it doesn't roll around your neck it's just like a really lovely higher collar and i do find as well actually this is super flattering on you if you're a shorter girl it really helps like elevate your body pull the eye up and make you look taller um so i'm imagining this with like some gorgeous pair of boots like a lovely coat over the top this is the kind of thing that i feel like you can dress up or dress down like you can wear the trainers at the weekend you can wear with fancy boots into the office it is absolutely gorgeous oh my goodness me how stunning is this dress oh my word absolutely in love i always love a horizontal stripe i feel like it's just so flattering it's so timeless love the fact that it gives you like a little bit of a break so it really helps to pull the eye up and just give that really like long elongation of your torso which i always adore i'm also in love with the fact that it doesn't have any like slits it doesn't have any paneling or anything like that it's just such a beautiful shape and style and paired with like some black boots or even some white boots i think would be really really gorgeous actually the new Suzanne boots that i got in my latest haul from them they would look really cute with this dress i think it's one of those that's just going to stay in my wardrobe for such a long time really easy to wear easy to style super comfortable super soft can not ask for more absolutely and lastly, i'm not gonna lie i feel like i have been going ham with the Cezanne handbags recently but i just can't help myself i feel like the handbags are just the perfect price point quality design kind of the amalgamation of the three of that like they are just so beautiful they're a great price point and they're designed so so well and i showed you this one in the store yesterday and i couldn't not take it home with me it's the gorgeous little bucket bag in this stunning velvet green oh my goodness this is beautiful why am i softening my voice i feel like i have to like talk quietly around her she's my new baby <laughs> she is stunning and especially for christmas time i feel like she's just gonna be my favorite thing the one thing i wish she had was like a little top handle i feel like that would have just made her perfect because i don't always wear oh <laughs> dropping her there but i don't always want to wear it as like a crossbody but i could definitely just shorten the strap a little bit and potentially wear it that way um but i'm just so in love with her i feel like she's the kind of bag that you can wear during the day you can wear in the evening but for me of course i'm gonna be pairing her with my stunning manolo blanix I'm wearing them as a matchy matchy set because there's nothing I love more than a matchy set. You know what I'm like. I just, I find it so satisfying having like a little matching set. And this bag is just beautiful. I am absolutely ob obsessed with her so really excited to have added her into my wardrobe just before christmas and they did actually have a couple of other colors i think they had pink they had purple and i believe they also had black but i will double check that and leave them all linked down below if you guys do want to shop any of them because the Suzanne handbags are just gorgeous and again would make a great christmas present or of course to treat yourself to so a beautiful new addition into my handbag collection perfect for the festive season okay so i just had to show you the shoes and bag styled up together because oh my goodness it is literally the perfect match look at this 
yes oh my word i am so so in love and this is what i love doing when it comes to like christmas styling something like super simple and then elevated with your accessories elevated with your bag your shoes or even your jewelry i mean how cute do the earrings look with this dress now the one thing is that i do really feel like this needs like a little top handle i might actually see if i can get one from like a little retailer just so that i can add it to the bag because i much prefer walking around with a bag like this especially if i'm going to style it up with these heels and just have that little matchy matchy vibe so i just had to show you how these look together because they match so perfectly i can't even get over how stunning it is and as i mentioned they still have a little matchy matchy set if you did want to get a pair of suzanne heels but because i already had these manolos in my collection i've been looking for the perfect combination and the perfect matching bag for such a long time and i finally found it so this is definitely going to be a real like festive outfit for me ready for christmas time oh what perfect timing to add this bag into my wardrobe she is just stunning if you are planning any trips into london this december i would definitely recommend checking out the new Cezanne store in marlebin it was just absolutely gorgeous and such a great place to pick up any gifts they've obviously got their like homeware they've got the menswear which i'm definitely going to place an order with alex and of course they have all of their gorgeous new in pieces so you know the drill when you get to the end of the video we love to leave a word down below and i'm thinking because Suzanne is a gorgeous parisian brand let's comment below our favorite french word for me it's either petite because that is literally my name petite ellie or croissant because I feel like, even when you're not French, it's just such a fun word to say. I want a croissant. Because, like, pan au chocolat is not as fun. Like, oh, I want a pan au chocolat. Like, croissant. It's just makes me so happy. So, comment below your favourite French word. I would love to know what it is down below. And if you're French, let's, let's have fun with it. Comment below, like, a really fun, fancy word. Because I do just absolutely adore the Parisian. The French style is just so classic and timeless. And... I'm just obsessed with the brand so I really hope you guys enjoyed this video and enjoyed coming into London with me yesterday it's feeling very very festive as I said I am going to be uploading my usual schedule this week so there will still be a video on Thursday before vlogmas starts on Friday I for one cannot wait so if you haven't hit that subscribe button already I would love it if you hit it now so that you don't miss a single vlogmas video I am going to be uploading every single day throughout the month of December and I'm so so excited to get started with the full festive content so comment below your favorite French word hit the subscribe button and I will see you guys in my next video bye